April is the cruelest month, breeding lilacs out of the dead land, mixing memory and desire, stirring dull roots with spring rain. Winter kept us warm, covering earth in forgetful snow, feeding a little life with dried tubers. Summer surprised us, coming over the Starnbergersee with a shower of rain. We stopped in the colonnade and went on in sunlight into the Hofgarten and drank coffee and talked for an hour. Bin gar keine Russi, stamm aus Litauen, echt Deutsch. And when we were children, staying at the Archduke's, my cousins, he took me out on a sled and I was frightened. He said, Marie, Marie, hold on tight. And down we went. In the mountains, there you feel free. I read much of the night and go south in the winter. What are the roots that clutch? What branches grow out of this stony rubbish? Son of man, you cannot say or guess, for you know only a heap of broken images where the sun beats. And the dead tree gives no shelter, the cricket no relief, and the dry stone no sound of water. Only there is shadow under this red rock. Come in under the shadow of this red rock, and I will show you something different from either your shadow at morning striding behind you, or your shadow at evening rising to meet you. I will show you fear in a handful of dust. Burial of the dead. April is the greatest month. Leading silence out of the dead man. Mixing memory and desire. Putting dull roots with spring rain.
struggle with psilocybin for a while, the question of whether or not there is an alien intelligence becomes moot. There is an alien intelligence. And then the what is it? And the choices as are, and maybe you can help me add more, the choices are, it is a straightforward B-movie extraterrestrial of some sort that is a God knows what God. reason, but coming at us through this. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, it is the Gaian mind in some version of that. In other words, it's the integrated intelligence of the biome of the planet that because probably of the historical crisis is actually noticed us and is trying to twiddle our knobs in some dimension we're not even aware of. So that, that Gai extraterrestrial Gaian mind uh, could be some strange technological experiment launched from the future. In other words, where it's words that word communicate with us, since they seem to have have to have to have have values, have to have related, have are, have problems. Maybe they are human beings of some sort. Uh, perhaps it's a time travel project in some distant century that has decided that the key screw up occurred in the 20th century and they're going back trying to twiddle the knob. Notice that these theories have greater and less elements. Greater and 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 greater this is the shamanic one, that these uh, are, uh, that this entity, this contact, whatever it is, is somehow coming from the afterworld. That this is a project launched from an ecology of souls, that somehow uh, the erasure of the boundary between the living and the dead is what is at stake here. I mean, now this is from, you know, raised as logical positivists. This is the one you would just choose to ask. I think it's much easier to believe in meddling extraterrestrials than that, you know, Uncle Herman and Aunt Frank are somehow reaching in from the great beyond. Yeah.
but it is moving towards conscious appearance and its peculiar mercurial interfacing with the observer indicates that it is something on the borderline between the conscious and the unconscious mind. But that's a temporal, um, mm, a temporary situation and conceivably this thing is moving toward us and it, it vibrates with the alien but it is in fact ourselves. And there is a kind of recurso here where the thing we lost at the descent from Eden is, is actually, you know, on a collision course coming back again. This is the idea of the archaic revival that, that we can really deconstruct reality in a fairly radical way. The, made this very clear, the flying saucer which haunts our collective imagination is a totality symbol that is in the unconscious, but it is moving toward conscious appearance and its peculiar mercurial interfacing with the observer indicates that it is something on the borderline between the conscious and the unconscious mind, but that's a temporal um, so you're perfectly free to believe it was just a hallucination, or you're perfectly free to believe, you know, that it was a, an ambassadorial contact uh, with an alien mind. You're perfectly free to believe it was just a hallucination, or you're perfectly free to believe, you know, that it was uh, an ambassadorial contact uh, with an alien mom. Yes. Yeah.